name is uh, Pilar Rodriguez. I'm the Interim Director of Public Works for the City of Far. This is a project uh, to retime signals along Jackson Road. And actually this complements another project that we have just recently completed, which is the retiming of signals along Cage Boulevard from Polk Avenue down to uh, Javelina Drive. And so this project is the next in a series of projects that we hope to undertake to improve the uh, mobility here in the city by uh, updating the timing plans for the traffic signals and providing coordination between traffic signals to improve the progression of traffic uh, through the city. So the uh, longest portion of this is the collect collection of the data out in the field. So we've had to perform traffic counts. We have to count the vehicles that are traveling through the intersections. We have to uh, count the pedestrians that are crossing at the various intersections. And then all of that data has to go into a uh, program that looks at uh, the timings and optimizing them and providing for the progression through the corridor. And that usually takes two to three months to collect that data and do the analysis. The implementation of the timing plan is usually a week uh, to get the timings uh, programmed into the signal controllers and then to optimize them. Well, actually it was a combination of, uh, you know, we, we received uh, concerns from citizens here in FAR about delays uh, at particular intersections, not enough green time at a left turn, etc. Uh, through observations from the staff and of course the elected officials uh, giving us direction that we want to see some improvements in mobility in the city. And so that kind of triggered that uh, the staff look at it. It's a best management practice to go through your signal timings every three years and it had been quite a while since we'd looked at them so it, it, was, it was time to, to update them. So we have um, various peaks during the day for traffic. You have the AM peak in the morning when people are going to work or school. You have the noon peak when people are traveling to and from lunch. And then of course you have the PM peak, people going home. And then you have what's called the off peak when uh, people are at home asleep and there's very little traffic out on the roadway. So our plans are designed to look at those different peaks and uh, the, the, the amount of green time uh, is based on the volume of traffic at those particular uh, times of day. Uh, Cage Boulevard, for example, we just uh, completed the retimings this week. And to give us an example, from Polk to Ridge Road took anywhere from about six and a half minutes to about seven minutes and 20 seconds travel time, depending on what direction you were going in. We've got that down to about three and a half minutes. So we were able to reduce the uh, delay um, by about 50%. So we were almost able to cut it in half. One direction, we got it down to 44% reduction, and the other one was 55% reduction, which averages to about a 50% reduction for the corridor. I'd like to, to ask them to be patient with us while we implement this. We know that, that congestion and delay uh, is something that, that nobody likes. Uh, and it's part of the growing pains as the city continues to grow and it's a function of volume. The more traffic we have on the roadways, the more delay we're going to have and so we're trying to adapt our, our signal timing plans to address that additional volume on the roadway and make it as efficient as possible for the motoring public to travel to and through the city.